A total of 30 outside broadcast vehicles will be purchased for a large live broadcast center that was established at the new Presidential Palace dubbed AK Saray, White Palace, in order to closely monitor public demonstrations live from the palace, according to a Turkish daily. According to a report published in the Tariff Daily on Thursday, a large live broadcast center that will enable the palace to access all mobile electronic systems integration, MOBIS, cameras across Turkey was earlier established at the presidential palace. Now, the palace is preparing to purchase 30 outside broadcast vehicles to be able to monitor all details of public demonstrations held across the country. MOBIS is a city information and security system being utilized across Turkey. The Tariff Daily report stated that President Recep Tayyip Erdogan ordered the National Police Department's communications unit to search for a broadcast vehicle to be purchased for the palace. After this order, the communications unit reportedly found a broadcast vehicle that cost $300,000. Erdogan then ordered the unit to increase the number of broadcast vehicles to be purchased to three. With these additional two vehicles, the cost reportedly increased to $1 million. After the large increase in price, Erdogan reportedly decided to refer the purchase of the broadcast vehicles to the Under Secretariat for the Defense Industry, SSM, instead of the National Police Department. According to the Tariff Daily, Erdogan then ordered the number of vehicles to be purchased by the SSM to be increased to 30. The SSM is now trying to purchase those 30 broadcast vehicles, the report stated. A special broadcast center was earlier established at the Presidential Palace in Ankara with the technical infrastructure that will enable Erdogan to monitor the country's population of 77 million. Images collected by Mobis cameras, unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, and security cameras from across the country will be transferred to the live broadcast center at the Presidential Palace. From this center, Erdogan will be able to follow social incidents, military operations and even violations of traffic rules instantaneously. There are reportedly 143 screens at the center. Information from the Police Information System, Polnet, the Prime Ministry's Disaster and Emergency Management Directorate, AFAD, the Gendarmerie and the National Intelligence Organization, MT, will also be directed to the center. In addition, Thanks to two workstations established by the Information Technologies and Communications Authority, BTK, at the center, the president will also be able to access individuals' private information through the BTK. Since Erdogan also holds the title of Commander-in-Chief, he will also be able to preside over military operations from the center. Special rooms at the center have been allocated to the police, MT, and the Gendarmerie and the National Police Department's passwords for the 3G and Mobi systems have been shared with the officials from the newly established monitoring center. Erdogan's presidential palace, AK Saray, has long been the center of a national controversy for its lavishness. Constructed inside the Atatürk forestry farm, Aok, in Ankara on an area of 300,000 square meters, AK Saray may even be touted as the world's largest residential palace. AK Saray has also been at the center of heated debates as Erdogan simply ignored a number of court orders to halt construction.